And welcome back in today's What's Driving You Crazy, a segment in which you, the viewer, gets to tell me your concerns about anything involving the roadways. Well, today we address Raymond G. and Drew L. Facebook comments. Now, Raymond writes, orange barrels all over the city. Ugh, explanation mark, explanation mark. And Drew writes, orange barrels, explanation mark, explanation mark, explanation mark. And I will add that he did have those mad emojis at the end. So I reached out to the Texas Department of Transportation to ask why a road remains closed even if construction crews aren't seen working on the roadway. Well, Lauren Macias Cervantes, spokesperson for Texas, explains that there are several reasons behind those orange barrels. When driving down different parts of El Paso, you most likely have come across construction on the roadways, but at times there is no worker in sight. If it's in a high impact area, we try to do that work at night. And so, uh, you know, people might see uh, the orange barrels in the day and there's no one working there. Well, that if you don't see workers there, at that point in time, they may be working at night. Macias Cervantes says barrels are not only used to protect the roadway from any damage, but also to protect a person and their vehicle. They might see that the road, you know, looks fine, but perhaps there's a drop off um, soon after, or there's a hazard, um, or there's a repair that needs to be made. And they also keep those without a vehicle safe. There might also be orange barrels uh, blocking a shared use path. We saw, we see that um, on some of our projects. Well, there's, you know, a pro a full project construction project going on and it may not be safe for uh, pedestrians or for people on bicycles to be riding on that shared use path. Macias Cervantes says when you come across orange barrels, make sure you follow detours placed by crews. It's very important that they don't get off and remove them or go around them. They are there for their safety um, and it is against the law to remove orange barrels. And El Paso police say if a person is caught moving orange barrels, construction signs or equipment, they will be fined up to $500. And if a person is caught speeding through work zones, that fine is up to $1,250. If you would like to tell me what's driving you crazy, you can comment on my post on Facebook, on X, or email me at dgomez at kfoxtv.com.